are ready. Let's get it for losers semis. So shy guy versus Zansi the Yoshi. And he's sticking with the Isabel. Interesting. Maybe he hasn't switched mains after all. Because I, I imagine Roy would be pretty good for his Yoshi. But he is looking for more characters. That's another possibility. But my, my, my. This Isabel looks amazing. This, honestly, I'll say it again. I know it's a low tier character, so you almost never see it. But this is the best Isabel play I have seen so far in these past six months of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Looks like Sunsi is getting back into it. Apparently he's from Austria. So get all your Austrian boys in here. If they want to encourage their Austrian player here in that battle. Same goes of course for the UK. Oh, he's not from the UK. So I, I always I always sometimes think Sushag is from the UK for some reason. He's from Denmark, I believe. So get your Danish squad in here to cheer for what's probably the best Isabel in Europe. He is a stock behind right now, though, which is unfortunate. And Isabel is not the best at taking stocks. Even though we have seen some cool confirmed traps from Sir Shy Guy, it's hard to force a kill with a character like Isabel. So Sir Shy Guy has a small problem. Nice to get the grab, you know. Both fishing rod grabs and a bug catching net grabs do kill. Here are the Smash Attacks. And Sansi is surely but surely running away with it. Just running away with it. Oh, and that's it! No death scream even! I thought she was a dog. Where's the howling? Sir Shy Guy on his final stock. Sansi is ha he's having a field day. He's having a field day. A big, big combo with that big, chunky tail. It's going to give him like 50% or something, and he's not done yet. He's still going. He's still going. Sansi with nothing but advantage state for the past couple, couple of seconds, maybe even half a minute. Finally, Mrs. Arene and Sir Shag is going to take that opportunity to close out the first stock, but he has a crazy comeback to make if he wants to go up 1-0. Oh, here comes a beautiful, beautiful combo from Sir Shy Guy. Can he make that comeback after all? He has to completely oppress Sunzi in neutral and find a way to take a pretty early stock if he wants to make this comeback. He has to play an almost perfect game. He has to play an almost perfect game. Can he do it? He doesn't want to take any more risk and just as he pulled out the fishing rod, one of the eggs hit him. There is the party popper, almost gets it. It's a very strong move. Oh, and the egg was gonna save Sansi, but he was so scared that he just pushed that air dodge button. And now all of a sudden, we are on even stock, but Sansi is gonna quickly close it out. JV2 stock, 1-0 Sansi. So there it is. There it is. So the question is, is Sir Shy Guy gonna stick with the Isabel or is he gonna go with the Roy? And you gotta wonder because he did lose. But on the other hand, um, he had a really, really awful start. But then he started really pulling it back. He started really pulling it back. So momentum was on his side. So maybe if he sticks it out with the Isabel, he could um, you know, continue that momentum into game two.
Like I'm telling you again on Ogaku Bear, this this song, it's it's just it's kicking ass. It's kicking ass. Speaking of kicking ass, we're gonna go into game two. Sansi is up a one oh and it looks like um Sir Shy Guy is gonna stick with Isabel. He's gonna stick with Isabel. So far, looks like Sansi is starting off with yet another lead. But so Shy Guy is learning how to pace himself around Yoshi, that's clear. He's managing to stay far away from Yoshi using a lot of aerials. No train combos like we saw in the first game yet though. Despite that he's doing better. He's keeping it even. It's gonna be very important for Sir Shy Guy to take the first stock. And for Sun too, really, you know. That's what you have with these neutral heavy characters that do great at keeping people away. If you lose the first stock, you have a big problem. But if you take the first stock, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for them to um, to force a stock on you. Oh, almost the stock. So Shag, I thought he could put down one of those Lloyd rockets. Not gonna happen though. Sunzi has finally pulled ahead. And once again in there, the shield is gonna send him all the way to the blast zone. And the spike on the fishing rod. Great lead from Sunzi. He had noticed that Sir Shy Guy almost always just goes for the fishing rod from the side. Oh! Oh! But the gimp! The gimp from Sir Shy Guy! Wow! Keeping it even, great stuff from Sir Shy Guy. And now he's taking the lead with all these slingshots. Using the broom. Slingshots coming out from Sir Shy Guy. This is honestly uh, more of how I expected game one to go. And Sansi is doing a great job at just making sure he gets rid of the Lloyd Lock and every time he has knocked Sir Shy Guy away. So he really hasn't had too much trouble with these traps set up by Sir Shy Guy. I believe for that Sir Shy Guy needs to get him properly at the ledge. And we've already seen uh, versus Belmont from Dove that Sansi knows this about these kind of characters. And thus it has become pretty great at just getting back on stage fast, bypassing the ledge entirely. Here come the eggs. Of course he could pocket those as well. Oh, what a catch! What a catch from Sir Shy Guy. He just caught a Yoshi Bomber with the fishing rod out of the air. Out of the air. How crazy is that? Oh, and these are the aerial trains I was talking about earlier. Great to see Sir Shy Guy pulling him out again. He's so good with these palm pots. Great catch from Sanzi with the back air. Even his stock out again, this could go anyway. Oh, but here are some more aerials from Sir Shy Guy, but he cannot prevent Sansi from grabbing the ledge once again. But he's really running away with it. Sansi has not been getting in. There's the trap I was talking about. That's what you need if you want to hit that Lloyd Rocket. 
Another trap set, but this time Sunsi drifts back. Smart stuff, but he hasn't really been able to hit Sir Shy Guy. One seventy-three on Sunsi, sixteen on Sir Shy Guy. But here comes Sunsi. And the pop punch is gonna do it in the end. 1-1 one, one, as Sir Shy Guy evens it up. <laughs> Messi! <laughs> we do it for you! Super Smash Brothers Ultimate taking gravity into account. What a guy. Ah! Yeah, like a good Christian girl. Let's get it. <laughs> Am I this good myself? I suppose you're talking to me, Ravi. Um, I suppose these two on stream right now are a little better than me. Not quite sure. But I'm around this level. I'm around this level. I, uh, I started by, I started, you know, Smash uh, playing the last entry, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, in, uh, in tournament about four to five years ago. So I've got a lot of time on the sticks. I didn't, I didn't start with commentary. That um, commentary got in on me later. I'm an old man. I'm not a young man anymore. 25. 25, how the years go by. Got a mortgage. Mortgage got approved, so... Getting a house pretty soon, and it's right next to Philip. I'm moving, walking distance from the other guy from the European Smash Ball Cup. <laughs> How about that? Anyway, it is 1-1, and we're getting back into losers' semis. Loser gets fourth place. Winner moves on. It is Sansi versus Sir Shy Guy. As they go to Lilas Cruz, one of my personal favorite stages. And Sir Shy Guy, once he comes out swinging, he did change his sweater, so there's that. drop their shield they feel like you kind of hit it at a certain time and when you don't they just they just kind of drop it based on instinct and Sansi with the SD he just could not resist going for an attack right there but of course if you do an attack you cannot grab the ledge at the same time and he did not have a jump so he just dropped Sir Shy Guy getting a freebie and he might just take that freebie all the way to the bank but Sansi has respawned and he respawned swinging but that also means he's taking a lot of risks Already 52% advantage for Sir Shy Guy on this stock. So much damage coming from these slingshots. The steel queue must be absolutely filled with forward airs and back airs. And there's Sansi, not quite a kill confirm yet. I do like that he's looking for those forward tilts to up tilts, or up airs, excuse me. But there's Sir Shiger with another very damaging combo. Lloyd to the turnips. And he gets the fishing rod, but it's somehow torn apart by the stage. And Sir Shy Guy loses his stock afterwards. That's that got that, that gotta feel pretty bad, man. He got the fishing rod. He got it, but he didn't get it. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But he gets it now on the second stock and finishes Yoshi at 136 with an up throw. Sir Shy Guy is on his way to victory. Sir Shy 
Shy Guy once again lapping Santi in percent. Doing a wonderful job staying away using the slingshot. And these pompons. As soon as you get close, it is just pompon galore. You know, obviously, Village's neutralizer is a little better, I believe, but these pompons look pretty great themselves, honestly. Look at that! Look at that! It's like Ness. Keeping Sir Shy Guy off stage. And up smash is gonna find his mark. Of course, not quite gonna kill. Oh, watch yourself! He could have been scooped. Great read on the roll. He's gonna get the forward smash. Everybody at their final stock. But I do not see Sansi pulling this out unless he can get a beautiful edge guard, maybe with a forward air spike. And slowly but surely. Sir Shy Guy is whittling away at Sansi's chances to take this game. 138%. 138, but here comes Sansi. He's got him off stage. Can he get the spike? No, he cannot. Sir Shy Guy's back. He's looking for smash attacks. Oh! So Shaggy probably thought he would grab the leg with that rod. There's the back air. It's becoming pretty dangerous for Sir Shy Guy. He could just lose, you know. He, it could happen, but it won't. The party popper right in Yoshi's face is going to bring Isabel. Play by Sir Shy Guy the victory 2-1 as he moves on to the loser's finals.